This is the test bus. That's a nice. Get in, Kozo. I'm in. in. We still got a few more seats in the test bus. Come on, let's go. Get in the test bus, guys. The high test bus. That's right. Goddamn. We're going downtown. Oh my god. Amazing. Okay, they can get the rest. Wait, those going? guys, the cool people are here. Buddy, this is your <laughs> bus driver speaking. Uh, KSO say hi, test producer. Uh, we will be heading down to uh, the courthouse momentarily, where we will be discussing who the best sheriff is on the planet. Okay. 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 Uh, over here on our left, you will see a moron. You see the oh. moron. He's on a bicycle. I saw him. Up here, coming up on our next left is going to be the block. The block towers. Oh, Don't go God. there. You it's the project. Fuck you. Oh, hey. Damn, Lowe's. So say you want me to drive? That might have not been a local. No, motherfucker. I do not. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. <laughs> do not let him drive. That is a very okay. bad idea. On our left here is a red car park that people drive through in high speed chases because they are morons. And on our right is mm, a car true. park that people drive through at high speed chases because they are morons. And to our right is a gap that people jump through at high speed chases because they are morons. Okay. <laughs> That's right. I'm sorry guys, okay. it's the test. Excuse me. Excuse oh. me, coming through. Oh. So Excuse I'm me. local. That's hot. I'm gay as well. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. For Thanks for the free ride, Thanks. idiot. Oh, wow. Wow. So many wheelchairs. All right, Smith. Finally, y'all go and fuck yourselves. Make sure you clean up the trash before you get out. As you should do it. Okay. Thanks, guys. Hey, hold on a second, Jenny. Are you sure you're supposed to be here? Looks like you should be uh, harassing children for Lucky Charms. Oh, Shut up, regular. Okay, bro. Oh my god. Oh, done. <laughs> right, that so, was not uh, necessary. Hey, attention. Very quickly, regular. can everybody hear us? Uh, yeah. yeah. Me and Jenny yeah, have yeah, a lot yeah, in yeah, common. Yeah. We both right. have a drinking problem. Hey, I got an idea. How about you stand up if you were struck by a car by car a cornwood? Oh, that's right. You fucking can't. Oh yeah, is, no. this, is this is this no. the Cornwood right, uh, victim uh -huh. support group in the front? That's called a Cornwood. Yeah, that's what uh, well, all the criminals in this damn city are gonna look like that when I'm through with them. Yeah, what's up? Oh my God. Hey, who are who's you? on the roof over there? Hey, who are you? I actually uh, live in Blaine County. I'm like all these other assholes. The mayor is representing the people, so. Oh, it's Lenny! Mayor, do you want yeah. to come over Who's here? He's a roof? goddamn beacon! It's Lenny! <laughs> it's Lenny. He's a beacon! It's Lenny! <laughs> it's Lenny. <laughs> All right. Welcome, everybody. I will be Trooper Andrews, your host. I'm with the San Andreas State Police. This is my uh, partner, Kale Soze, that looks like the bum over here. Uh, he forgot to put his uniform on today. It's my high test. And he has a small wiener. Uh, this is our uh, top assistant here of the month, uh, Miss Nancy. She'll be asking some questions, and of course, you guys know the, the lovely and wonderful mayor over here. Behind me, we do have some uh, candidates that are running for the sheriff's position. Uh, we're going to give them the opportunity to introduce themselves and uh, say what their favorite color is and why they want to be the sheriff. So we'll start we, have with a, we have a transfer over from a, a different county. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Yes, sir. Cletus Cornwood. Oh, yeah, Howdy, y'all. Uh, it's I, it's Cletus Cornwood, sheriff for 20 years over on Rust Island. And uh, yeah, hell, since I've been in the city the last two damn months, it's been the worst two damn months of my life. Criminals running all over the place. They're he hell, this city needs a strong leader, okay? This city needs a strong leader in the damn police department, okay? Somebody's going to stop and get these damn criminals under wraps. Is that leader as strong as your belt? <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's the stronger. Hey, you right. know what else? Not only is it a stronger my belt, yeah, not only like is it a stronger my belt. One. Like we're just gonna miss it because we're, we're always in L. It's as strong as my damn vest too, which already looks pretty damn good on me oh, with the shit. damn sheriff on it, don't it? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. How you got it on? Yeah, that's right. I think it's the best. Alrighty. All right, sheriff of Rust Island for uh, 20 years. How did that turn out? <laughs> Am I right? Fucking guess what happened to that? We have Mr. Uh, Randy Wrangler. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, folks. I'm Randy Wrangler. Uh, most of you here probably know me. Uh, if you've been convicted of a felony, odds are you probably don't like me. 
Vote for You're me, Randy Wrangler. Uh, Richard Dude, Dark, he can so barely form a sentence up here without being embarrassed. Tribble, he had his chance. I mean, come on. Let's move on, right? You. Rust <laughs> Island, failure. Bo <laughs> failure. Uh, Jenny Hall, listen to this, everyone. Jenny Hall, in the past 30 days, this is true, has gotten four arrests. Four arrests in the past 30 days from Jenny Hall. Doing her job. And, uh, Pred. I can't Hell yeah. Either. Pred is not a team player. He only cares about himself. You know why? I already know what Nancy's gonna ask me. She's gonna ask me, hey, uh, how are you gonna be on the graveyard shift when there's only one janitor on duty? You know how I know that? They talked about it on radio too. Pred and I were supposed to be teammates. We were gonna help each other in this debate. And when I asked him, hey, what'd you and Nancy talk about? He didn't say anything. You know why? He's a traitor! <gasps> Betrayer, oh, oh, and I, and I didn't, and he didn't, know that, he didn't know that until now. He didn't know that until now, and I'm exposing him. To do this, what, 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 because I didn't tell you one fucking question that was relevant towards being sheriff. You want to do this, motherfucker? Blood! There will be blood. I will beat your ass in front of all of these fucking people. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Wrangler. All right, we have Miss Jenny Hall. Hello, everyone. The difference between mine and Rango's arrest is that mine actually stick. Hello, oh. if you don't know me. Oh. 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 Yeah, it's easy to stick when you go to court once a year. <laughs> However, if you don't know all me, my name is Jenny, and I would stick. like to get to know <laughs> all of you. I'm looking to work with the community and build relations between the officers and with the, and everyone else, including DOJ, average civilians, and businesses. Lovely to meet you all. Awesome, awesome. And we have, not last but not least, Kyle Elizabeth Pred Andrews. Hey, how's everybody doing today? Shut the fuck up, I'm talking. Shut your fucking mouth. I got, that guy's got a fucking warrant. Put him in jail. All right, now listen. I, too, am for the community, but I am way more for the community than Jenny Hall. Because I beat these streets daily. I beat these streets so hard that I'm chafing. All right, I want you to know that I'm out there in the streets. You know who the fuck I am. You've talked to me. You've encountered me. All right, you understand that I'm not afraid. That I don't back the fuck down like these cowards standing behind me. Oh, shit. None of them have what it takes. They're all fucking talk and no show. I will fight any battle head on. Whether that's the PD internally or crime on these fucking streets. I'm the sheriff that you want even if you don't fucking know it. I have a question. Miss Shelley, go ahead. You want to roll up? Yeah, I'd like to roll up. Um, do you advocate the, the running over of innocent civilians? Uh, because uh, that's uh, you know something that has happened. Hey, Who did that's that to a you? Woman no. that's trying to sue people, but Who? I saw her working at Burger Shot. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! She's a fraud, guys! Fraud! <laughs> fraud! Scammer! We're getting scammers. <laughs> Anybody else have a question? I still want to answer that question. I listen, I live by I live by a few a few different laws, a few different sayings, okay? And one of them is a better better one thousand innocent men die than one guilty man roam free. Can I get an idea? Anyway, get an idea? nobody heard that. I wanna know uh, how you value another officer's uh, performance and uh, how you would go about uh, actually justifying and giving them a chance to move up and based on that performance. Well, uh, <clears throat> I think this is something then. If ever, everybody, just take, take a moment and think about a time, right? Think about a time in your life you've been on a team, you've been, you've been working a job, whatever it is, right? And you do a pretty damn good job. You work your ass off, okay? And there's somebody ahead of you and they, they know they're ahead of you. Okay, well, that ain't no good. But I'll go ahead and answer it to everybody else anyway. So, you've been, you've been there, and you're doing a damn good job. Now, this point comes from the leadership, the person ahead of you. If they know you've been doing a damn good job, it's important that you give them opportunities to, to showcase their talents to everybody else. Now, opportunities for improvement. Because too many damn times where there's people 
who they they work hard but they they get stuck there because whoever's in front of them they want to keep them under them you know what i'm saying sometimes some people are a little bit self-conscious people are a little bit self-conscious and they say hey i don't i don't want i don't want this young buck taking my job now here's where i come in one ain't nobody gonna take my damn job i'm the best damn sheriff this first off rust island never had second off i'll be the best damn sheriff this town's ever had a b you got to drop them in the grease okay you got to give them a little bit of adversity Okay, and if they can come, overcome that adversity, they can they can wipe that grease off their ass, and they ain't got no damn burns. Then hey, you might you might be cooking peanut oil. You know what I'm saying? Peanut oil, and the go and you? take your chicken, and go ahead and rub that in that peanut oil, and hell, throw on some French fries or green beans, huh? Show. What the hell are we talking you're, about? You're, you're, you're talking about food. You're talking about food now, Cornwood. What was the question? Fried chicken sounds good. Oh my good. god! Just get this motherfucker a sandwich, please. <laughs> Cornwood. Can you go ahead and uh, repeat the question? One thing that you would change, um, bring back, or just get rid of? Number one thing that I would change, bring back, or get rid of? The McRib. The McRib. That was a damn good sandwich, let me tell you. You know what else is good? That chicken oh, filet. Yeah. Anyway, oh, yeah. I, I don't want I, I to get distracted or nothing. Uh, number one thing that I'd, I'd change, bring back, get rid of, or add, add to the four. Hell, you know what we need? We need damn police tractors. That's what we need. Because you know why? People think, oh, tractors are slow. Tractors are slow. It, it ain't that way at all, man. I'm telling you. A damn police tractor, we get, we, we kit them out, put them in the damn PD. Nobody's going to be able to outrun us, okay? Them things go damn near 100 miles an hour, can turn on a dime just like that. Next thing you know, somebody tries to run your ass over, tries to give, give you a shake, you just pit their ass. Hell, you don't even need to pit no more. You just pick their ass up. Police tractors. That's also uh, seat belt extensions would be nice as well. Anyway, that's something. That's something else. This is gonna be the last question from the uh, Star Wars gentleman here. All right. No, he's all natural, Dad. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. All right. Well, uh, as a gym owner and a personal trainer, I uh, I know a thing or two about physical health and fitness. Uh, and I, you know, I'd like to envision officers of the law to be in their uh, peak physical performance. But uh, I Absolutely. do notice that some of you are uh, seemingly uh, small and or uh, maybe out of shape a bit. What's something that you do on a daily basis to make sure that your body as well as your mind are always at peak performance? I do Sudoku, Sudoku, and I run after perps all day. Uh, I smoke, uh, about two packs of cigarettes a day, and, uh, Jesus then whenever, and I also usually have daily bench trials or court cases, that raises my blood pressure to a point where I'm probably burning 500 calories an hour just being in there. Yeah, well, that's a, that's a new one, all right. You know, you, you say there's people on the force that are out of shape. I damn near invented physical fitness. I played wide receiver at East Texas Baptist University. Sorry, I, I, okay, I, I, ran a 4 240. Would have been in the NFL, but I decided to serve my damn country, and I went to the military. I went. And I served in Desert Storm. I was stationed in Berlin. So, you, you, you ever seen a you ever seen a corn roll? No, I don't believe I have. Here, let me show you what a damn corn roll is. Let me tell you who else can do this. God, everyone, get down! Oh, oh God! God! Jesus God. Christ! Yeah, you just got corn rolled, son. All right, Mr. Cornwall, go ahead. <clears throat> well, I think it's pretty apparent that my level of expertise, experience, truly was on display tonight, okay? There ain't no damn person in this whole city with as much experience as I have being a sheriff. Dealing with criminals, being able to know how to approach these damn sons of bitches who are coming in and trying to hurt the good people of the city. Ain't not a single damn person. One. Two. Two. <clears throat> get, X, oh, get the fuck out of here. here. We're having a Got meeting, dumb fuck. Shut the hell up, Kyle. Go ahead, Mr. Uh, if you're gonna let him interfere with our entire thing, I'm questioning your leadership. Shut, what do you We're think doing you're something doing here. right now, you fucking idiots. We're Shut doing up. something. Get him out of here. Oh my god. Go ahead, Mr. Cornwood. Anyway, as I was saying, okay, I think I'm the best damn candidate there is, okay? And and I, I think there ain't no if, ands, or buts about it, okay? You gotta bring the corn, you gotta bring the wood, you gotta bring the whole damn thing. I'm gonna take it 90 yards for a touchdown. Just like back in 94 against Tyler Junior College whenever we're playing the preseason. And then I went in, I scored the touchdown, and afterwards I went home, we had post-team post, post -team dinner, and hung out with everybody. We had damn turkey that night. We had turkey, we had it basted with, with 
strawberries and apple mash and next. What's going with? Corm, Corm, you're, talk, you're talking about food again. All right. Okay. Huh? Cool. Yeah. Well, anyway. sandwich, yeah, sandwich over here. Here you go. Oh. oh. Here. Blatant favoritism has controlled the upper echelon of this police precinct for too fucking long, and it's time for new blood to whip people into fucking shape and give them... Sometimes the answer isn't exactly just so clear in front of your fucking eyes. You gotta try something different. It's time for new blood and new leadership, and it's time for somebody that isn't a fucking pussy. Shut the fuck up! The You're my undersheriff! He's full of shit. It's He's time for under somebody that shit. isn't gonna back down from the opposition He's and do what they believe is fucking right. I'm not a coward like everybody else standing behind me. I will fight every day. I have no problem taking Mr. X's phone and sending him to jail. I have no problem dealing with any of you dumb fucks. You don't intimidate me. I intimidate you. Listen, I, I was gonna say one more thing, and, and all right, fine. I'll be honest. This is this is. I'll make in, you my understanding. This is probably in favor of Fred, to be honest with you. But I think there's a big old misunderstanding because his ass just saved his ass from the 5G. So why is this even an issue? Because if he took his damn cell phone, because I got rid of mine, because I, I don't want to deal with them damn 5G waves going into my damn brain and ruin it. Tom, but what the fuck what are you, are you talking about? The damn Soviets are going to find, find us. Anyway. Hard as I try, maybe I just can't. I ain't no up and kind of leaving pain. She kissed me one time and she took my heart. Baby, you can love me, you can leave me. I'm a honky-tonk star. Yeah, I'm a honky-tonk star.